Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another video. My name is Tiffany, and in today's video, we are finally going to be working on some fall decorating. I was actually going to put this off for another week, but I just could not wait. I have been dying to get things up, and the leaves are starting to change all around where I live, all up and down my driveway, and all along my drive to work and I figured I better get on it. So if you are here for it, grab a snack, a cup of coffee, and let's get started. To decorate the house today, we're gonna to be using all of the things that you saw in my fall decor haul, along with some things that I've purchased along the way. My mom and I have done some shopping at the Dollar Tree. We've also made some trips to Hobby Lobby and Michael's, so we've got some extra things, but we're gonna get ourselves in the mood by using this Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice Multi-Purpose Spray. Now I am not typically one for like a pumpkin spice smell, but this actually smells pretty good. I don't know if I'll buy it again. I think I'm more of an apple cider girl, but I did like it and it did get me in the mood. So just filling this up in the glass spray bottle I purchased at uh, Walmart. You can find this in their laundry section. And then we're gonna clean all of the counters and the kitchen was pretty much clean. It was really just to get the scent and get in the mood. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. Washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you this If you try to get some Last Wednesday's video, you saw me organize all of this decor into these clear bins. I had it all stored in the guest room closet, just taking up valuable space, but I did get it all organized. I used these clear bins from Walmart. I find these to be the most beneficial because you can actually see what's inside and they're really big and they're uh, very light and really affordable. I think there were less than ten dollars each so really really a good price and a good steal so what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of going through the bins and I'm pulling out pieces that I think that I'm going to want to use in today's decor video we are only focusing on my kitchen dining room and coffee bar area so I'm just grabbing some pieces that I think will look good in uh, my kitchen in the hutch uh, on the shelves in there as well as on the floating shelves in my coffee bar area and I'm also going through these two bags here that have a lot of items from the Dollar Tree that I did not get a chance to haul but I'll make sure to show you all of the items as we go along it is waiting for us. Will restore us. Be new ways. This is 
First things first, we're gonna start with this vase on my dining room table. Now this uh, Demijohn I purchased at Home Goods, and it's giant. I don't know if you can tell how big this thing is, but it's really, really big. Because the neck piece is so long, um, these uh, pumpkin florals that I purchased at um, Michael's, they didn't go in very far, but that's okay. I love the look of them, even if you know the stems don't go all the way to the bottom. I just love the color, and to give them a little bit more of a full look, I did put those hydrangea pieces back into um, the arrangement. I just felt like it made it look a little bit more full and maybe as we get closer to fall or closer you know into thanksgiving time i might take those out and just leave the pumpkins but for now i thought it made it look, made it look you know a little bit more full and very very pretty Next up, we're moving into this uh, two-tiered shelf that I have here on the wall. I'm starting with the sweet pick that I purchased at Michael's Dust Safe Bumpkin Patch. I love it so much. It's wooden, so cute. We're gonna stick it up here in the faux fern. And then we're also gonna bring in this beautiful copper pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna add that down here to this bottom section. And then I wanted to put those wooden spoons into um, this cute little galvanized uh, pitcher. However, they kind of fell in. So I just grabbed some paper towels, shoved them down there to the bottom. And then I was able to put um, the spoons on top of that and you'd still be able to see them so that's what we're doing now and i love how this turned out it is so incredibly sweet i love to decorate this little area just a little bit of touch and it looks really really pretty my sink we're using these beautiful faux florals from Michaels and uh, they look very similar to the ones that I have in here now um, except that they are that beautiful burnt yellow color and absolutely beautiful perfect for fall so I'm just taking the tag off and then I'm going to take what I have out and see how we're doing so Here's how they would look without a little extra, but I decided to put the eucalyptus in there as well, just to make it nice and full. Plus I love the look of the eucalyptus. And um, this is just really simple. This copper pitcher I got at TJ Maxx, I could not pass it up. I did buy it with the intention of actually using it, <laughs> uh, but it just looks so pretty in my kitchen and adds such a touch of warmth that I can't have it just put away. It's got to be out here and it looks so pretty with flowers in it. I purchased this sweet little ceramic white pumpkin plate from the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be perfect here on my stove. So replacing my spoon rest for now with this beautiful little pumpkin one. And then I'm adding in these sweet little picks from the Dollar Tree as well, that one there with the knitted pumpkin. Adding that uh, into the little utensil bowl there. And then we're also gonna add in another fuzzy pumpkin. This one's from Target. I just had to figure out where it was going. And I love how this turned out. Again, just little touches of fall do the trick. So very cute. Moving over to the other section in my kitchen, I decided to remove the white flowers. And again, we're gonna add in some of these uh, yellow florals from Michaels. And um, 
I wasn't sure exactly if I wanted to leave it like that or if I wanted to add more. I'm gonna add in this really cute rattan pumpkin as well as these, this pick with the white. They're like velvet pumpkins. They're both from the Dollar Tree, so love how those look. They just added a little touch in there that needed a little something else and can't go wrong with pumpkin picks. <laughs> And then I decided to replace the uh, eggs with another pumpkin. And then I decided to bring in, bring the eggs back, but the eggs don't stay. I do end up changing it here and uh, later on in the video. So the eggs don't stay, but here's how it looks for now. to the big dough bowl, dough bowl, say that 10 times fast, on my counter. I'm bringing in these two pumpkins from the Target Dollar section. The white one is a little bit larger than this really pretty orange one, but love the colors that they bring. And um, I'm just kind of adjusting the towels here uh, to lay it a little more flat. And we're gonna lay those in there. I do believe that this does get adjusted as well, so stay tuned. Next up, I wanted to show you this cute little pie. It's a fake pie that my mom and I made. Uh, we followed a tutorial by Mother Time and it came out really cute. This is another area that does end up getting kind of changed up a bit. So this sweet little pumpkin, knitted pumpkin there is from the Dollar Tree and it came with um, a clip. It comes with three, um, but we, I took it off just to kind of put it in there. And I did have that riser. I purchased that at Hobby Lobby. It was part of their spring shop. I got it on clearance. And just to add a little bit of height and interest. And then I added that fuzzy pumpkin from the Target Dollar Spot. Another pumpkin from the Target Dollar section is this fuzzy one here that I added to my little plant stand and we're just going to mess with that here really quickly and then we're going to add in another one to bring in some color. This is a faux leather pumpkin that I purchased at the Dollar, the Dollar Tree and again I'm just taking off the clip so that I can add it here and I just love the little warm touches that it adds to this stand. I'm heading back over to the cake stand. I wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I'm actually using this other fake pie that we made, again, following a Mother Time uh, tutorial. But don't worry, that other cute pie does come back into play. Don't worry. So here's how this is looking now. And now we're gonna work on the hut shelves. So I purchased these beautiful florals from Michaels, of course, and I decided I wanted to leave things pretty much the way they are because I did recently just redo this area and I love how it turned out. So I'm just replacing the florals. I took down that little glass cloche and took the bird out and added in a pumpkin from Michaels, adding in again more of those beautiful orange yellow florals. And then I added in that sweet sign there from the Target dollar spot. Again, just focusing on bringing in touches of the fall colors, but leaving pretty much everything the same, just to warm the space up a bit. So closing the windows there, or the doors, to make sure that you can see everything. And I love the way this turned out. Just nice little touches of fall. I did end up bringing in another little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, just to bring in some more color down there to the bottom shelf. Now I'm gonna head back over to the little tray where I put down this sweet crock I got at uh, Goodwill for $2. I just love the color. And we're also going to replace the towel on the stove. Now 
we're gonna move into my coffee bar area. So this area is probably another one of my favorite ones to decorate. And we're just gonna take down the things that are there. It needed some good adjusting anyway because I had stolen some decor from this area to add to the new shelf in my living room. Um, and I haven't quite adjusted over here yet. So I'm gonna move things around a whole lot. Uh, we're just gonna try things, put them up, take them down, put them up, take them down until we find um, you know what we think looks the best I have since adjusted things just a little bit um, and I might adjust them a little bit more I don't love the way it all turned out so stay tuned we might be you know changing things just a little bit but for the most part what you see at the end of this video is how it stayed um, for the most part I think I have added a new mug or two so we're just gonna go ahead and de decorate these shelves. And like I said, we're gonna move things around a lot. I did find that cute little pumpkin patch sign in uh, at Hobby Lobby, I believe. That was not in my haul. Um, the, the thankful uh, plate was, however, in my haul, I do believe. Um, so again, just play with your decor. If you know doesn't look right the first time, I think when I purchase things, I have an idea of where it's going to go, but I really don't know until I actually try. So, you know, try things out, move things around, you know, and uh, and you'll get there. You'll you'll find what works for you. That uh, sign there is from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe. Wait, or is that one from the Dollar Tree? That one might actually be from the Dollar Tree. It's a little glittery, but you can't really tell. And that wooden little pumpkin there is also from the Dollar Tree. I love it. Uh, that oil can is from an antique shop that I purchased up in New Hampshire. Moving over to the other shelf now. Again, I came in here thinking I had a plan, but things do get moved around quite a bit. That little sign there is also from Michael's. I think I, oh, actually that one might be from Hobby Lobby. Um, I purchased that when I was out with my mom. So we're putting up the thankful plate here. We're gonna add that pumpkin sign back up because it's so dang cute. The little pumpkin itself is metal and kind of shakes, so it's like a 3D board, I love it. And then for this other section, I wasn't sure what I wanted, so I just brought in uh, some more of those pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Moving down to the mug section, um, I'm removing my uh, mugs there from Hearth and Hand, and I'm keeping the Moscow Mule mug because I like the copper color. Then we're also gonna add the Let's Get Cozy mug. That one's from the Hobby Lobby. And then I did pull out my other floral mug here that I thought would be appropriate because of the colors. And then finally, we're gonna bring in this towel that says you are the pumpkin to my spice. This came with the other towel I have in my kitchen. Thought it was cute, even though I don't even like pumpkin spice. I thought it was cute over here. Moving to the other side, I have this cute creamer uh, pitcher and these adorable little acorn picks that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using the creamer pitcher uh, backwards so you don't see the words, but I thought it was cute to house the little picks. I do end up taking out one of those syrups, which as you can see, we don't even use. They're really just there for decor at this point. I think I actually removed them both because they're not getting used. Um, that salt and pepper holder there is actually from TJ Maxx. It's chipped on the bottom, so I got it at super discount, but I knew that it was just going to be for decor. I wasn't actually going to use it, uh, so I didn't mind that it was a little broken. <laughs> and then the little shelf that it's sitting on is from the Target Dollar Spot. I got that in the spring. Um, and now we're just going to bring in some pumpkins. These are from the Dollar Tree. Again, these are ones that had the little clip, and I had removed those. So I'm just adding these in for color and texture. And I knew I wanted to bring in this sweet little pumpkin patch sign and decided to hang it here. I thought it was so cute. I love how this turned out. This is probably one of my favorite little areas that I've decorated so far. Then I changed out those little pumpkins for this bigger one here from Target. And I love how this turned out. It's so stinking cute. 
Next up, I have this cute little cloche here that I got at an antique shop, and I'm bringing back that little pie uh, that I had made before, and I'm adding it in here. It actually fit perfectly in this little cloche. How cute is this? And I'm setting it up here in the windowsill. I love it. We're hosting Thanksgiving this year, and I thought this will be such a cute area to decorate. It'll be like our drink bar. It'll be so pretty, and it's so festive already. I just love it. Holding my hand, how could I feel you touch? Cause you were nowhere near. I know I'm cozy decorate with me would be complete without a candle of course so I'm bringing in a candle I purchased last year during the candle sale at Bath and Body Works this is white pumpkin like I said I'm not a huge pumpkin fan but this one just smells absolutely delicious it's very sweet smelling so seems appropriate I also love the colors and I'm putting it here on this wood beaded riser from Hobby Lobby into our final little touches of today's decorate with me I'm working over here on my little greenhouse I'm adding in this sweet little plush pumpkin from Michaels as well as changing out our hand soap I'm adding in this pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works and that is going to complete our fall decorate here in the kitchen the dining room as well as the coffee bar I love how warm and cozy this feels with touches of those beautiful warm colors I'm excited for the wonderful things that the new season is going to bring this makes me excited too for the school year every time the school year starts it really does feel like fall is here especially now that I live on the East Coast and the weather is already starting to change. The mornings are cool and breezy and the leaves are slowly starting to turn. I just love it. Thank you so much for spending some of your day here with me. I hope you found this video motivating and I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day, my friends. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany and in today's video we're going to be doing part two of the fall decorate with me here in our new house I'm so excited today because I've got this brand new piece of furniture that I have never decorated before this is a beautiful console table purchased from World Market. I've had my eye on this since we moved in. It's just been a want, not a need, so I needed to wait on it, but I was so excited that we finally snagged this piece, especially before the holidays, because it's gonna be a great place to decorate as well as a wonderful place to hold food for Thanksgiving. So, so very excited. Here's a look at the items we're gonna be using today to decorate. If you're interested in learning more about where any of these items came from, you can check out my uh, fall decor haul. I will have that linked for you down in the description box. That goes through where all of these items came from. And if there's new items that I've gotten along the way that I didn't have in that video, like this pumpkin pillow here, I'll make sure to tell you as we go along. We're gonna get started by uh, working on this bottom shelf here on the console table. I've got that basket there that 
my daughter's boyfriend's mom gave to me uh, as a housewarming gift when we moved in. And I'm putting in this beautiful orange blanket that I purchased in the Target dollar section just to bring in some color and some coziness here. Love the color that it brings. And then we're also going to add in that Hey There pumpkin pillow again from uh, Target in the dollar section. I picked up that pillow. It was $5 and just taking off the tags and like I said I picked that up at Target I loved the uh, font on this pillow just absolutely adorable next up I'm bringing in this home sign that I purchased at Michael's earlier this year as well as this really beautiful pothos plant that I had in the window on the other side here I'm bringing in this yellow pillow that was on my sofa along with this wire basket that I picked up at Home Goods, and a couple of these really great pumpkins that I purchased in the Target dollar section. Finally, to complete this little section, I'm bringing in this pumpkin here from Michaels that says Grateful. And now we're gonna move on to the top. So we're starting over here in the corner with these beautiful faux florals that I picked up at Michael's. And the galvanized pitcher there is from Walmart. It used to hang in my entryway. And I'm just uh, gonna put these here. I wanted something that was gonna bring in a little bit of height. And I loved the galvanized pitcher. I thought that was great for the fall and I'm putting both of the florals in here. I'm kind of just layering them one inside of the other. That is my best tip when you're using faux florals. Just kind of put them uh, together like one on top of the other and they will blend really nicely. Next up, I'm bringing over this miniature dough bowl here that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I actually snagged this bad boy uh, on the spring clearance for 90% off. It was super affordable. And I've got these great little pumpkins from uh, the Dollar Tree and they're burlap and I got them in all three colors. Um, and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful and they looked so pretty in the dough bowl and I love the color that they bring. So I'm just kind of fidgeting with them, trying to get them to blend nicely and uh, figuring out where they're gonna go. But I knew I needed to bring in a third item. I just didn't know what that was gonna be. So uh, we'll come back to this area here in a moment. On the other side of the table, I was so excited to finally have a place to put this lamp. I had purchased this lamp at the Salvation Army and painted it with this beautiful green. Um, I mixed the paint with the baking soda to make it that really fun texture, and then I bought a new lampshade. I'm bringing over that sweet little sign from Michael's as well as the pumpkin candle. And finally, we're gonna round out the area with a plant. This beautiful pot I got at Target. And inside of it is a pothos plant that I recently propagated. Coming back over to the other side, I grabbed this vase that I picked up in the Target dollar section on clearance. So it was normally $5 and I snagged it for $2.50. I actually got two of them. This is the one I was considering painting um, the white into a different color. I still am, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> and I have these other faux florals here from Michaels. They're these really pretty daisies. Um, and I'm adding them into this little vase. Now, I know that the folded florals don't look the best. However, once they're in there, you don't really notice, but I didn't want to cut them off because I might wanna use them in a different area next year, and I would hate for them to be cut really short. So I know it looks funky from here, but trust me, you don't even notice. Like, they, it blends in, and it's not something I ever notice now, so love how that turned out the last touch that we're going to add to the new console table is this beautiful white pumpkin bunting that i picked up at hobby lobby i believe it was hobby lobby or was it michael's 
I think it was Hobby Lobby. And I'm just tucking it into the drawers. So this console table has these beautiful like hideaway drawers there. I love that they don't have any hardware. You really don't even know they're there unless you're looking for them. So that makes it really easy to just kind of tuck decor in here. I have a feeling I'll always have some kind of seasonal bunting on this console table. I just love it. So just tucking that in to get it uh, right where I want it. You just kind of have to fidget with it for a little while. And I loved the texture that it brought and the beautiful white color. So pretty. And then finally, I'm just adding in some coasters. These coasters I had picked up at Home Goods for outside on my deck. Um, and the purpose of the console table is for the light as well as a place to put drinks and things. So wanted to make sure there were there were um, something for you know protection of the console table. So moving over to the new decorative wall that we added, I decided to put that beautiful new um, basket over here on this wall. I had spoken to Danny about hanging it on uh, the pantry, which I still think I'm going to. We're just trying to figure out how to effectively get it over there, and it's really heavy, so I have to figure out how I want to hang it. Um, I think I'm going to have to put some kind of nail or something into um, the door, so we'll see. It's going to have to be more of a permanent thing, so until then, um, this is where I decided to put it and I'm using these beautiful florals. These are paper florals from Michaels. I talked about these before. When I purchased these, these were not on sale, but I could not say no to them. They were so beautiful and I am so thankful that I got them because I love this touch that they bring and I think they're not only good for fall, but I think they'd actually be really beautiful in the spring too. So we will see. Now this bunting here is um, from Michaels. I loved this when I bought it. I thought it was so cute with the little pumpkin spice coffees and the little pies. And um, this is where I decided to hang it. But to be honest with you, it just looked way too busy. And I do, it does go up here in this video, but it does come back down. <laughs> It just was, um, it was just not the right, uh, it wasn't the right look. It just was a little bit too busy over here. So it's here for now, but later on in the video, you'll see a final shot of the living room and it does come down. we're going to start working on the shelf. Now my goal for the shelf was just to kind of add in a little bit of color and the easiest way to do that was to tie in these sweet little pumpkins. Now I have just been picking these up at Target every time I go. Um, if they had them in the colors that I liked and in the small little pumpkins, I would just snag a couple. So that's why I'm walking around with that bag. It's like a bag of Easter eggs. It's just a bag of pumpkins. <laughs> Um, so I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted them, but I just wanted to kind of spread them out, add a little bit of color. And I ended up bringing over a couple of other decor pieces, like that sweet little tiny, um, mug over there, that copper mug, but that ends up moving. So really the only thing that stays over here are the pumpkins. <music> I 
saw this sweet little wooden hook at Hobby Lobby. It says autumn and it's in the shape of a leaf. I thought it was really pretty. So I snagged it and decided to hang it here on the basket. Just thought it added a sweet little touch and this wall is finished and I love the way this brings warmth and another element of design to the living room. next area in my living room that we're going to work on is this little vignette that we have over on the floor. Now I have been going back and forth about whether or not I want to put a chair over here. I thought I wanted a big sofa chair but this is also where we put our Christmas tree so where would the sofa chair go then? <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do but uh, probably not a chair. We'll see. Uh, moving into the living room a little bit more, we're just going to throw in some of these throw pillows that I purchased. That one there that I'm using is from uh, Home Goods. I think they both are from Home Goods. That's right. And these are everybody's new favorite blankets, especially this one that I've got here. It's so soft. Everybody fights over it. So definitely love the new throw blankets. <music> Here is the final look of the living room. This is actually a shot from later on in the day. As you can see, the blankets have been moved and the bunting is down. So like I mentioned, that was gonna come down. It finally did. And there's my sweet Luna. She was helping me decorate as usual. into the entryway we're going to get started on this table that I have here that has my tiered tray and everything we're going to start by removing some of the current decor so that we can switch things up a little bit I do end up bringing some of those pieces back but for now we're just going to take away most of the things and we'll figure it out from there so I'm bringing back that white vase that vase is from Walmart and then I have this harvest uh, bouquet that I purchased a hundred years ago this has been with me from Las Vegas I've had this forever and uh, we are gonna start with this but it doesn't stay this way so stay tuned um, now I'm gonna start by removing some of the items from the tiered tray. I don't take everything away. Some things I decide to reuse, but I take a lot of it away. So we're gonna start in the lower section. I'm bringing in that sweet little galvanized tin there. That's from Michael's. And I also bring in this tiny little ladder from Hobby Lobby, as well as this tiny little mug from Hobby Lobby. That was just so cute. And you're gonna see me moving stuff around a lot. I try it, I move it, I try it again. And that is my best suggestion for you when you're working with a tiered tray, really any kind of decor. Just try something out. If you don't like it, move it around. So I brought in that little cupcake stand to hold up that little mug. I wanted it to be seen. I didn't want it to get lost in the tray. And then I'm bringing in um, that wooden pumpkin, which is from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I purchased that, uh, that bag of white pumpkins that I just showed you from Hobby Lobby. That's what I brought down there in the bottom. And then another little orange pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. 
Moving to the top section here, um, I start by switching out the fake florals in that little pitcher. That pitcher is actually from Ikea. And I had these little sweet yellow um, florals from Michael's. So popping those in there. That uh, plant there next to it is that beautiful Hoya that's a gift from my neighbor who is another house plant enthusiast. So she gave that to me. And that little wooden woven ball there is from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna kind of play with the florals here for a minute to get them just right. And then we're gonna move things around just a little bit. I've got this super cute bunting in the shape of pumpkin pie. <laughs> this is from Michaels and it's so cute. I'm using some double-sided tape to just stick it to the inside of the top tier. And it's actually designed to go on your tiered tray. So. I had never seen this before. My mom actually found it while she was here. I was so thankful. It was so cute and I absolutely adore it. So adorable on the tiered tray. And now we're just gonna start moving stuff around. So I do a lot of moving around of items on the tiered tray. I wasn't sure how I wanted them, but I wanted things to feel full. And I am a maximist, so not a minimalist. I definitely like more is more. So you're gonna see me put a lot of decor on this tray. And I absolutely love how it turns out in the end. So stay tuned, I promise it will all all come together. Coming back over to this bouquet here, I, I, it really needed color. It was way too bland um, with just the browns and the oranges. So I'm pulling in this faux eucalyptus that I had in the guest room and I'm adding this in here again, doing that layering. So I put in the eucalyptus first and then I layered um, the harvest bouquet on top of it and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Just needed that extra bit of green. This autumn harvest sign is from Target in the dollar section and now I'm just bringing in this basket. I have had this basket forever. It's what I used to put my fruit in when we lived in Las Vegas. It was out on my counter. And now it's gonna be where I put all these adorable pumpkins. <laughs> Um, these again, like I said, are from Hobby Lobby and we're going to just toss in a few of these orange ones here from Target just to bring in a little bit more color and I thought this was really sweet. Look like a harvest. <laughs> this is what I got while I was out picking pumpkins. Um, we're going to bring in that sweet little tricycle. This was a Target dollar spot find as well. And I've got that beautiful plant there that is a real plant. So just kind of moving it around there. And I had also picked up this beautiful pick from Michael's. And we're going to put that in the plant. I loved the plaid on that uh, pumpkin there. I thought it was so cute. And while I saw that plaid, it made me think about um, another piece of decor that I had picked up um, from Michael's. And it was a sweet little sign that had plaid around the corners. Um, you'll see me grab it here in just a second. I also picked up this wooden pumpkin from Michael's with the letter C for our last name and I thought it was really really cute and then I decided to grab um, this other sweet little sign 
but it doesn't end up staying. It just felt a little too crowded. So that ends up finding another home. But I did leave the C with the pumpkin. It was just so cute. And then there on the tiered tray, you're going to see me move around um, that top sign to bring in the little sign with more of the plaid. Um, but it just, it wasn't enough color up there. So I do end up moving that down to the bottom by the tricycle and just totally filled up that space. And I felt like the entry table was finally complete. Next up is this sweet little basket that I have hanging over by our, uh, where we hang our keys right here in the entryway. Again, I'm just adding in some faux eucalyptus and a pumpkin pick. This pick is from the Dollar Tree. It's so cute. It's like a knitted pumpkin. And that's it for that area there. It's just so very sweet. working our way around the entryway we're going to come over here to the front door and I'm taking down that magnolia wreath that I got on Amazon and I'm replacing it with this beautiful white pumpkin wreath that I purchased at Michael's. I actually picked this up last year at the end of the season and got it for a super discount. It's like 70% off. I got it for a steal like $15. Um, and it's a really nice wreath. So love how that turned out. And then I'm also just going to sneak into the laundry room and grab this leaf um, decor that I also purchased at Michael's. And we're gonna hang this here on my entryway hooks. Final stop today is the powder room here in the front of my house. We're just going to add a couple of touches of fall in here and we're going to start with the shelves. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do in here, but I did bring in this wooden pumpkin that I purchased at uh, TJ Maxx, I believe. Might have been Home Goods. And um, I thought it looked nice, but I felt like I needed a little bit more color in here. So I went back out to what I had and decided to grab that other fall uh, picture that I had tried to put on the entryway table with the sweet truck and decided to just put it up here. I felt like it brought in a good, pretty warmth 
and I wanted it to be seen, so I swapped it with the pumpkin, and now every time we go in there to use the restroom, it's right there at eye level, and I love the way it looks. I love where we put that, and that pothos is doing so well, even though it only gets a little bit of sun <laughs> once or twice a month, so don't think you can't put a pothos in a place that doesn't have a window. Now I'm bringing in these um, metal pumpkins from uh, the Dollar Tree. I loved them. One is copper, one's a little bit more of a rose gold, and I just think they're so pretty. I love that warm metal look. Moving over to the sink, I'm just bringing out a new soap, getting rid of the pineapple mango. <laughs> Not really appropriate for the fall. This one here has a really nice kind of powdery uh, scent to it. I purchased these at Home Goods. I did grab it because of the color, but the smell is delicious. And then I'm also bringing in another one of those faux wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna move over to this tiny little tiered tray that I got at Target um, a few months back. And actually a lot of months back. I think I got that like back in March maybe. And I'm replacing the bottom towel with a warmer towel in this pretty taupe color. And then I'm putting in that vanilla pump pumpkin uh, bar of soap and another one of those faux wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. brings us to the end of this second fall decorate video I hope that you found some motivation in this video found some warm and cozy inviting decorating ideas I am loving decorating for the seasons in our new home and I absolutely love that new console table and the warmth that it brings having that lamp there behind the the couch has been lovely at night and I absolutely love it. It's just perfect for this space. Even Luna agrees. She loves that new blanket. As you can see, she is all snuggled up there. So thank you, my friends, for watching today. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Hello my friends and welcome back to another Sunday Reset video. My name is Tiffany and I'm so excited to have you joining me today. In today's video, we're gonna be putting my messy house back together. Oh man, we are on week two of back to school and we are struggling with finding our rhythm. So let's go ahead and get this entirely messy house back together. I'm gonna start today by working smarter, not harder. So I'm gonna get everything picked up off the floor and we're gonna get the robot vacuum going. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like I said, this was week two of back to school and we are still finding our rhythm. It is so hard to find time to do all the things and be an active parent and be you know a good school counselor and we've got sports everything is back you know full force we're back into soccer where my fifth grader is doing cross country this year dance is back in full force not to mention we've had a little bit of a rocky start to our school year but we're finding our way <laughs> If you are the praying kind, I would love for some kind thoughts towards my kiddos as we go into this school year. It seems like the anxiety levels this year are just super high. I don't know if you're finding that in your own children or in yourself, but I definitely see it with my own children and with my students. So definitely send some positive vibes, some good words, some positive thoughts, all that good stuff. And a good prayer would be nice. So 
Now that we've got the vacuum going, uh, we're going to go over here into my uh, laundry room and get the laundry flipped over. Now this day was a little bit wacky, you guys. I literally had just gotten back from a soccer game. If you notice, my arms are all red because I did not put sunblock on, but I had just gotten back from my uh, littlest uh, soccer game that was opening weekend, opening day. And so my arms are all red. So I came home. I did a little bit of cleaning while um, he played his second game. And then they came home. I fed them lunch. We headed back out for Griffin's game. And then we came home and headed back out for Ronan's game. So it has been a day. <laughs> but in between, I needed to make sure I was getting things done. So the funny thing is, you guys, these videos are filmed not just for you, but they truly are for me. This really is my weekend reset. That's why you see a lot of the same stuff, because it really is what I do every weekend. It really is me just trying to get our lives back together and in order and prepped to start the next week because our weeks are crazy busy and I've got to make sure they're moving, you know, slowly, not slowly, I'm sorry, smoothly. <laughs> they definitely don't move slowly. We're moving back over here into the great room area and we're going to get all of these things put away. There's dishes that we're drying. There's, you know, all kinds of stuff that just needs to find a way, you know, to where it needs to go on top of all that soccer gear that you see there on the counter, as well as the table. My husband also coaches two of our boys soccer teams. So it's a little bit crazy at our house. And I want you to know, my friends, that I keep it as real as possible in these videos. So I don't do pre-cleaning. I don't do, you know, I don't try to hide anything from you. This is real life. This is what my house looks like. This is actually not that bad. You know, after a long, crazy week, it definitely gets a little bit messy and that's okay. A lot of bit messy most days. And that's all right, because this is where we live. I'd rather us all be comfortable and feel happy here than worry about it always being spotless. I know that I can clean that up later. So that's what we're going to be working on. Now I will be truthful and honest with you. We do have my in-laws anniversary party coming up here in a couple weekends and we are hosting about 60 people and we've got quite a few people staying here and I am panicking a little bit about making sure that I have enough time to get the house clean for visitors. You know, it's different when it's your clean versus visitors clean. But at the same time, I honestly this morning thought to myself, if I had to have people over right now, would it be okay? Absolutely. The house is, you know, we always think that it needs to be better, but it really is perfectly fine and appropriate for, for visitors to come visit. So we are looking forward to that. I've definitely got a big to-do list. Next week is Ryan's birthday party. He turns seven next week. So I've got all of that prep to do. It's just a little bit hectic right now, but that's okay. Stay tuned. I'll try to bring you along with as much of that prep as I can. Moving into the kitchen, I don't normally do the putting away of the dishes in the dishwasher. However, like I said, everybody has been out of the house this morning. So Danny was gone literally from about 7.40 this morning and he came back intermittently to eat a little bit of food, but his whole entire day didn't end until about 5.30. So it was crazy this day, but I am just taking a quick second to put these dishes away for my kiddos and to get the other dishes done. The only nice thing about right now is I was alone in the house, so at least it was quiet. I had my mood music on, which is just some bossa nova, elevator music in the background, you know, mindless, relaxing music that keeps me calm and relaxed and it was really enjoyable.
think I've mentioned to you in the past that I absolutely despise doing dishes, which sounds crazy considering how many kiddos we have, but doing dishes is just my very least favorite chore. (laughs) I don't know. I guess it's not really my least favorite. I would prefer to do this over mopping the floor, but it definitely is one of those I don't enjoy doing. I think that's because it's hard to feel satisfaction when it's like never ending. It's one of those things where you get it done and there's already more in the sink. My kiddos are typically pretty good as long as the dishwasher is dirty and I give them a gentle reminder, they'll put their things in the dishwasher when they're done. But a lot of times the dishwasher is running or clean. Sometimes we run our dishwasher twice a day because there are seven of us. So it fills up rather quickly, especially with all those coffee mugs and cups and everything. So, you know, it is what it is. Finally, I'm just going to finish washing up those items that can't go in the dishwasher and then we'll be able to move on to the rest of the chores. This wooden bowl here is from Hobby Lobby. I got this um, maybe last summer or the summer before and my thought was to use it to hold my fruit. Um, However, what I will say is I think because the wood is so porous, it does make my my fruit go uh, bad a little bit faster, I feel. I could be crazy, but I did get something new to hold my fruit, so we'll see if my theory is right. just grabbing some barkeeper's friend now to scrub out the sink i did finally get the liquid uh version of this because i ran out of the powder and i will say that i absolutely despise the scent of this oh man it reminds me of taking an antibiotic as a child it just smells so chalky and gross Uh, but that's okay it really does an excellent job it's a soft scrub so it's not going to put scratches or anything if you wanted to use it like on your stainless steel or on your pots and pans Uh, but it does an excellent job at getting the sink really really white I've also used it on my countertops if there's been um, there was permanent marker once on my countertops that got it off it's a really great cleaning product so you don't have barkeepers friend in your house absolutely get it it works wonders but just be prepared that the liquid version does not have a very good smell so if you're adverse to that like I am I have a really strong sniffer not today today it's all nice and stuffy but most days I can smell everything really well so gonna use this delicious smelling cleaner now this is the apple cider cleaner from Mrs. Myers I just picked this up at Target There's my son coming home from soccer, saying hello. They're back for snacks. Uh, But uh, this apple cider cleaner, it smells so good. I like something that smells like fall, but that doesn't smell like a pumpkin spice. I just can't do that. That's just too much smell for me. It gives me a headache. But the apple cider smells absolutely delicious and very festive. Moving on over to the coffee bar, doing my usual cleaning of the coffee. Definitely some splash as usual. I did have a comment um, on my previous video about my previous Sunday reset about getting a drip pan uh, replacement on Amazon. I am working on it. Every time I think about it, like right now when I'm cleaning this, I I don't go do it. But you know what? While I'm thinking about it right now while I'm editing, I should go do it. I'm running behind those, so I shouldn't do it right now. I should finish this and then go do it, which then I'll forget. It's the, you know, how it works. But 
just getting it clean. I decided to remove that towel. It just felt a little busy. I'm wiping down the sugar dish and just getting everything nice and clean. And then we're going to rearrange this area a little bit. Like I said, I got a new uh, tiered tray or tiered tower, tiered basket tray. I don't know what we're going to call it, but to hold my fruit and I'm removing the espresso machine. Now I don't use this really ever. It's a very cheap espresso machine that I am not pleased with. So honestly, I'll probably just try to sell it, but I'm just going to clean up this area and we're going to bring over that tiered basket. I did get it at Michael's and I did get it for 50% off. It's part of their fall decor. I had my eye on it from the second that I saw it. I loved the chicken wire baskets. I thought they were so cute. I'm a, such a sucker for chicken wire. And uh, it probably looks black in this shot right here, but it is like a, I don't know, like a brown color, a tan color. I considered spray painting it black. In fact, I spent a good 20 minutes looking for my black spray paint. However, I'm really glad that I didn't. I like the softness that the brown color brings. I put my turtle shell plant there at the top and then I'll have fruits in uh, those other two baskets once uh, my groceries get delivered. So stay tuned. I absolutely love it. It'll look really cute once it's full. It's a little empty right now, but I think it's gonna look really, really cute. Next up, we're back to switching over the laundry. So I'm just gonna fold these clothes as they come out of the dryer. Sometimes that's you know easier for me. Sometimes I bring it into my bedroom and I do it all on my bed. There's been a lot of times recently I've been doing it at uh, the counter in my kitchen because it's much higher. Um, but you know, it just depends on the day. This is later on in the day, by the way, we're back now from another soccer game. Um, and <laughs> it was a good day of soccer. That is for sure. Like I said, it's been a crazy week. I went to the doctor to get my ankles finally looked at, and I do have a referral now to the podiatrist. I've got an appointment at the end of the month. I'm really praying you guys, they don't say that I'm going to need surgery because that's really going to be terrible. And I don't know how we're going to film when that happens, but we'll take it one day at a time. My ankles, if you ever notice, they're full of fluid and they definitely are injured. I'm not sure by what, it might just be normal wear and tear. We will see, but definitely got to get those taken care of. Anyway, I just took the rug uh, from the powder room, put it back in there. I try to wash that regularly. And I know I'm gonna get comments about flipping the doors on my washer and dryer. So we flipped the door on the dryer. That's the one closest to the garage. However, I cannot flip the door uh, on the washing machine. That would make sense to put the washer on the other side. However, it does vent out onto my front porch and I didn't want the vent right next to the front door. So it is what it is. We make it work. It's really not a big deal. I am super used to it. And considering that it really is just me doing the laundry most of the time and my teenagers, they do their own clothes, but I've gotten used to it and it works. I make it work. All right. 
right, we're gonna head into the living room now. I did have the Yeedy vacuum going. If you need a robot vacuum, I'll have that linked for you down below. It is incredible. I love it so very much. It's such a great little vacuum. Uh, and it does a great, when I remember to turn it on, it does a great job of doing the work while I'm doing other things. Uh, it doesn't get under my sideboard here because of that bar that you see across the bottom. So I'm just taking my vacuum, my handheld vacuum with the nozzle to, uh, you know, get the trash and the hair. The other two items, the ball and the little fake mouse, those are cat toys. So those get left, but everything else gets vacuumed up as well as over here in this other vignette area, I'm just cleaning up any of the hair, as well as the little pieces from my cat's scratching post. So cleaning all of that up, and then we'll get everything put back down where it was. I've got my big pothos plant here, which is the mother of probably 70% of my other pothos in my house. And I actually just recently trimmed her again and have some more propagating. So I like to give them away. I like to plant new plants. My daughter wants to have a bunch in her room. So we're working on propagating her some new plants. I just love having plants everywhere. It just feels very fresh and uh, it's a beautiful color, brings you know warmth to any room. This year, actually in the front office at my school, which is where my office is, we've been bringing in a bunch of plants. It's been really nice. It feels very homey. So we are just going to dust off this faux fiddly fig here. This is from Michael's. I got this on super sale. It was like 66% off or something like that. And then I actually had a coupon and a voucher. So that worked out. I also have a piece of fuzz on my pants. I do see it. I wish I had seen it before I was in editing. <laughs> Hopefully it's not bugging you like it's bugging me. So we're just going to get things dusted off and then we're actually going to head into watering our plants. Now, like I said, talking about plants, that is one thing that I do. I get a lot of questions about how I keep my plants looking so healthy. And that's one of the things I will say is that I make sure that I water them every single week on the same day. So my plants get watered every Sunday uh, in the summer. If it's extra dry, sometimes I'll give them a little extra drink, but most of the plants in my house like to kind of be left alone, water them when you, you know, remember, but don't overwater them. So in a minute here, when we're done putting away everything, we're going to go ahead and water the plants. I'm just putting away the nebulizer there. My son Griffin has pretty bad asthma now that we're back to soccer and running and being outside and him and I are both suffering from allergies as usual. Uh, he's had to use the nebulizer a few times, so that happens. It's okay. Just part of having asthma, but like I said, we're just going to finish up here in the living room and then we're going to get to watering all the plants. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow Washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you I will always 
And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for coming along on this Sunday Reset with me. I know my house started off as crazy. That might seem a little overwhelming to some, but if that happens in your house like it does in mine, just know it'll always get put away. It can always get cleaned up, but you can't replace the memories you're making with your kiddos, your family, your friends. Don't be afraid to let your house get a little messy and just enjoy your family and your life. I have a very busy two weeks coming up. I'm excited to take you along on that. Make sure you come back on Wednesday. We're going to be decorating the front porch for the fall. And I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you're subscribed. Got a lot of content to keep you busy through the week. I hope you guys have a lovely week and a restful rest of your day like my sweet little animals here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, my friends. I'll see you soon. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I am so excited to have you joining me for today. In today's video, we are going to be decorating my front porch for the fall. We're gonna get it nice and clean and get it all decked out. I am so excited. So if you're here for it, grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte or some apple cider and let's get started. To get started, we are going to be power washing my front porch. Now, if you have been around for a little while, this is probably the third or fourth time that I've power washed my front porch since we moved in last December. And I am absolutely obsessed with cleaning this porch. I definitely will sweep it and, you know, keep it um, leaf free and blow it and everything. However, nothing gets it as clean as power washing it. And with as many children as I have and the animals that I have, there is always stuff to be cleaned off and it's always so incredibly satisfying. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting started by by hosing it all down. Now I started this porch makeover uh, in the middle of a Saturday. It was about one o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun was on the front of the house. However, um, you know, it was nice and high in the sky. So I definitely wanted to get this done while the sun was still up and still on the porch so that it would dry before I started decorating. That is always a big key for me when it comes to cleaning off the porch because you want to give it ample time to dry and make sure that it's all the way dry before you start walking on it because otherwise you're just going to start adding all those footprints back and that is not fun so make sure that you do it at a time of day that's going to give it lots of time to dry and unfortunately i'm noticing that over time there are some marks on the porch that are not going to come off all of the way this porch is not wood this is plastic so it's nice and easy to clean however some stuff is definitely sticking to it for example, most recently, I did spill a little bit of red wine on the porch as I was coming outside to sit down, and it definitely has left a little bit of a stain. So I'm not going to say that the power washing gets it 100% clean, but it definitely gets it 95% clean. So that's what we're doing today. The power washer that I'm using is a Ryobi. We did purchase it at Home Depot, it's a really great tool to have if you don't have one. We purchased this when we lived in Las Vegas and we've used it to wash cars, to clean the house, the garage door, um, you know, obviously to clean the driveway and the walkway. It's just such a great tool. We used, used to use it to clean off the stucco on our house that would often get dirty. So it's a really good tool to have if you don't have one and you can definitely find them when they're on sale. Um, I would highly recommend having one of these in your garage. And I am not normally the 
one who likes the power tools. So for me to be able to say this is one that I use, I use regularly and I find it incredibly satisfying, that says a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and get this front porch cleaned off and we'll move on to decorating it. One thing I just wanna point out before I stopped talking for a couple minutes is just that when you are using a power washer, um, the best tip that I can give you is that the closer you get to whatever it is that you're cleaning, the more power you're going to have. So, you know, if there's marks on there that you really want to get off, you want to get nice and close to whatever it is that you're cleaning, like I'm doing now. Um, if it's something that you really shouldn't be spraying that hard. So for example, when I wash my car, um, you know, I won't get this close. I'll stay about, um, you know, a foot or two away when I'm hosing it down. Um, but when I get to the tires or something, I'll get nice and close. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video of how we wash the car with the power washer, let me know. I would definitely, um, you know, film that i think that'd be a fun video to watch so let me know but like i said the closer you get to whatever it is you're cleaning the more power you're going to have and that's how you're going to work off all those stains and grime and dirt that's really set in and um, i also use this on our siding as well so you're going to notice that i use it both there on the siding as well as on the actual porch itself and it just does such a great job getting everything clean. In this clip, you have a really good view of the vent from my dryer. It's that little thing right there that I'm hosing off. There's definitely some schmutz coming out of there. There's some spider webs and such. And there are spider webs all over this porch. So that's what you see me hosing off now as I'm just trying to get rid of all of those spider webs, get it nice and clean so that Danny can come in and spray. And I'm trying to get rid of any marks on uh, the siding um, but this area gets pretty dirty just from the vent from the uh, dryer so if you can imagine what you find like in your dryer vent um, that's kind of what you find out here too so I try to get that you know pretty clean I pick up any like large large pieces or anything like that um, and then there just any dirt and grime that's down there that needs to come off but this area was definitely really dirty needed to be cleaned really really well you'll see there how how dirty it was um, but if you were ever curious about why my dryer is as close as it is to the garage and why I don't flip them to make it easier with the door handles, this is why, because that vent would be right next to my front door. So although that lovely smell of clean laundry on my front porch is wonderful, I definitely did not want all of the vent, um, you know, dust and dirt and hair and grime and everything coming out right there next to the front door so this way when I have the rocking chairs there it's completely hidden you can't even see it and it works out really well so that is why my dryer is where it is
another thing I want to point out when it comes to the power washer, you'll notice here that I'm power washing uh, the outside of the porch along with the steps, but you want to be really careful when you're going around your plants. So you don't want any of that hard pressure going on your plants. Don't water your plants with this. Um, there's definitely water spray and that's okay. It's just that you want to make sure you're not actually uh, directly shooting your plants with the power washer. It's a little bit too forceful for your plants. So be careful with that. Uh, but it's okay for them to get the spray that's perfectly appropriate so once i'm done with the front porch there we're going to go ahead and hose off the walkway so one thing i've been noticing is that as the leaves have been falling onto my walkway when it's rained or something like that the leaves will stay there and then um, they kind of stain the walkway so I do have quite a few leaf stains I did try to get them out but unfortunately they did not come out so it is what it is I'm sure with time they will fade with the Sun um, <clears throat> but they are there you'll see them there's one right in front of where I'm working now and um, I definitely tried to get it up but it happens not the end of the world like I said I'm sure it will fade uh, but again, just getting the water nice and close to the areas that really, really need it and you know, staying a little bit back from those areas that don't need as hard a pressure is the way to go. So in this shot, you can see a few more of those stains from the leaves, but it is what it is. It's perfectly fine. I am loving the slowly changing leaves. I can't wait to see what this all looks like in the fall. It's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. My friends here is the front porch all dry and ready to decorate this is a few hours later and the Sun is slowly starting to go behind the trees this is my favorite time of day the lighting is perfect and everything just looks absolutely beautiful especially now that it's nice and clean and you know fresh and nice and freshened up so we're gonna go ahead and get decorating and getting this space ready for the fall making it nice and cozy. The number one thing that I find to scream fall when it comes to the porch is mums and ornamental cabbage. Since I moved to New England, I have been so excited to decorate with these items, especially the ornamental cabbage. So that's what we're going to be working with now. I'm starting off by emptying out these baskets that I have here. I absolutely love them. I try not to plant anything directly into those baskets because I know that I'm going to be switching them out. So that's why I had another pot inside of there. However, we had had some crazy rain, so they were full of rainwater. So that's what I was dumping there. But I'm starting off by adding these tri-color mums into the baskets. This one here, I plopped in and it just kind of fell right in so I decided to take it back out and I did my favorite trick by grabbing a rock from my yard and putting it down at the bottom which allowed for the plant to just kind of stick up a little bit more gave it some height so I love these tricolor mums they were so pretty and they reminded me of a rainbow I love rainbows so loved having those 
I'm moving these other pots that I got from Better Homes and Gardens over to around my driveway and adding in these yellow mums as well as these red mums. So very pretty. The other super bells, those are petunias. They're, they weren't ready to go, so I just kind of have them over by the garage right now, but they're probably gonna find their way to the back porch. And now we're gonna pull in the ornamental cabbage. So I didn't feel like getting new pots and pans for everything. I felt like the black was perfectly fine. It all kind of blended. And I love these ornamental cabbage. I wanna get some more and definitely wanna get some for the back porch. Got to keep my eye out on them. They were very affordable, $5.99 each, and I think they add such a sweet touch. Now we're going to work on my uh, porch mat here. So I grabbed this uh, mat from my back porch. That's actually from Hobby Lobby. It was wet, so <laughs> you might have noticed that. And I am also putting down this mat here that I purchased from Michael's. My son came out to talk to me. I was trying not to get hit in the head with the door. <laughs> um, but I did put the undermat uh, upside down because it was a little bit um, stained from the back deck. So I just put it upside down. It looks brand new and just adds a little bit of cozy warmth there to the front porch mat. There's Charlie. She was hanging out with me. And I love that sweet mat. Like I said, it's from Michael's. And now we're going to move over to our rocking chairs. So these rocking chairs definitely need some love. I had painted them, but they're kind of falling apart now. The paint is chipping off. I'm thinking about uh, stripping them down to a really pretty natural oak. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. But I'm replacing that uh, blanket there that I had gotten from Home Goods with a really thin little blanket that I got in the dollar section at Target. And... I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth and color out here. Typically, the only one using the blanket is Charlie. However, as the cool mornings keep rolling in, we might need a thicker one than that because it has been in the 50s, so it's been beautiful. I also grabbed these porch pillows from the Target dollar section, uh, both the long one there and the cute little pumpkin one. Those are both from Target. And the foot poof is from Amazon. This sweet little metal pumpkin here is from the Dollar Tree, and I thought it would just bring a little bit of color into this fern here. And then I decided that I needed to switch out this wreath. So this beautiful wreath here that I have from Michaels, it was not allowing for my storm door to close all the way. So I grabbed another wreath that I had from back in Vegas and it's a little bit smaller and not as beautiful, but I still liked the color that it brought and it allowed for the storm door to close all the way. And here I am just making sure that it does close all of the way so we're not letting in any bugs and it definitely does we're moving over now to the potting table that my husband built for me and just want to mention that this is actually another uh, two hours later <laughs> i had gone to get my nails done um, so this was a long day but uh, this potting table like i said my husband made this for me this potting bench and i do have a video on that it was wonderful a uh, little build and i am making this into its own little kind of pumpkin stand i got that sign there from target that says pick your own pumpkins and then i did grab these two medium-sized pumpkins from my grocery store and i was trying to figure out how i wanted this to look as I almost break the flower market sign. It does have some command strips on the back, but they don't always stay there. So I have to uh, put them back every now and again. But um, I decided that I was gonna do one pumpkin on the top and one on the bottom. And then I thought, since it does say flower market and I wanna leave that sign up there, let's bring in some more mums. So I had purchased these beautiful orange mums. These are my favorite. I got these at the grocery store while I was out getting my nails done and I thought they were stunning. So I decided to add these to the potting bench as well and I love how this turned out.
And finally, we're moving into my absolute favorite touch, and that is these hanging flowers. Oh my goodness, the colors were gorgeous. When I saw them as I was walking into the grocery store, I had to have them. They were absolutely beautiful and giant. In fact, oh, the lady that was helping me to check out at the grocery store said that she had wished that she had snagged them because they were so beautiful. So I love how these turned out. I'm just hanging them on the hooks that Danny and I hung in the spring, and I feel like they just really tie the whole porch together. They're my absolute favorite part. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away. And just like that, my house is ready for the change of the season. I am absolutely in love with how the porch turned out. This is my first time ever getting to decorate a porch for the fall, and it just feels so incredibly cozy. I can't wait to enjoy my coffee every morning and a sweet cup of wine with my husband at night. It's just so very warm and inviting. I look forward to hosting Thanksgiving this year and welcoming our friends and family into our home as we make new memories and traditions. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched today's video and all of my videos. I have enjoyed sharing my home with you and I love opening it up to you every single week. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So there's lots to keep you occupied. And of course, I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful week and I will see you in the next video, my friends. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video we're going to be decorating my back deck for fall. Everywhere else in my house has been decked out and we are ready to get this space cleaned up and ready to enjoy for the new season. So in last week's Sunday Reset, you saw me start to wash the cushion covers and those are still being washed. Well, they're all dry now, but that's why you see those empty cushions there. And I'm getting started by using the blower here just to kind of blow off some of the leaves that have started to fall as well as the dirt. And if you notice, all of my flowers look very sad and that's because I have let them all go. So that way we could change them out for some seasonal flowers, some mums, and of course some ornamental cabbage. I've got a lot of comments since my uh, video from last week, my front porch uh, fall decorate with me. A lot of people mentioned that they had never even seen ornamental cabbage before. Uh, but hopefully now that you've seen it, you've fallen in love with it and you've gotten some for yourself, uh, it is absolutely beautiful. If you notice all of the trees moving behind me, it was pretty breezy this day. So you will see the camera shake just a tad bit. And unfortunately, it does kind of bounce when you walk on the deck. So I'm sorry for any of those movements. I'm going to do the best I can to walk very lightly. It doesn't always work that way, but... Um, we're getting started, like I said, by removing all of the previous flowers so that we can get ready for some fresh ones. Mm -hmm. 
Last spring, Danny had hung these beautiful flower boxes for me and I'm excited to decorate them. Now they have been empty for quite a bit. They've been empty for about a month or so because the things that were inside had died because I wasn't watering them enough. When you've got flowers in a little tiny case like that, uh, you've got to water them really, really regularly, like pretty much every day because they don't hold on to water and they do dry out. So make sure that if you have window boxes or something like that, that you are watering your, those flowers or those plants every single day. Now I'm going to just go ahead and do a really fast power wash of the deck here. I decided not to power wash the rug for a number of reasons. This was later on in the afternoon, so the sun had gone, for the most part, to the other side of the deck, as you can see here. Uh, in the afternoon, it goes to the front of my house. Um, so I, I knew it would take a long time for it to dry. It also really was not bad at all. It was not dirty. It just needed to be uh, blown off. So here's what we're going to be using today to decorate the deck. We're using, again, like I said, that beautiful ornamental cabbage, as well as all of the mums. <laughs> and I am so excited. I've got these beautiful tricolor mums that I found at Walmart. They are absolutely beautiful. They are by Better Homes and Gardens, and they were very affordable. They were less than $10 each. The ornamental cabbage are from a local grocery store, Price Chopper. I spent $5.99 on those, so those are also pretty affordable. We're starting with the flower boxes because those are what I was most excited to decorate. So I'm putting in some fresh potting dirt here, just kind of spreading that out. And then we're gonna put in some cabbage and some mums in this space. So it's a pretty tight squeeze, but I love a really full flower box. They're not going to be lasting forever <laughs> they only need to last me a season so don't panic i did break up the root ball a little bit there you couldn't really tell but i did and like i said i just need them to kind of squeeze into this space now one really positive thing is that when i see i'm breaking up the root ball there and then breaking it or pushing it down into the flower box so for those who are going to be upset that I didn't break up the root ball more, uh, that was very strategic <laughs> because I don't want them to last forever and I need them to fit very compactly into these flower boxes. So they're going to be okay. <laughs> I promise. I um, have been watering. Well, I haven't had to water them every day because since I did this literally that night, I had to bring in all of the cushions again because we've had rain, torrential rain every single day, which has been lovely. And everything looks fantastic and is doing really, really well. However, I just, you know, I don't want everything to last super duper long. So that's why everything is not, uh, you know everything's compact in there and it's going to be it's going to be okay and it looks really beautiful in the end so as you see there i'm putting my fingers underneath the root ball and i'm breaking it up once it's already in the uh the container now i'm adding in these small little moms i purchased these also at walmart they were uh less than two dollars i think they were a dollar 47 so i just added those into the edges there to bring in some beautiful color and I am so happy with the way that these turned out. They are exactly what I wanted, and now I just have to figure out how to do some flower boxes on my actual house uh, because I love them. So with the vertical siding, it's a little bit different, so I have to figure out how I can put some up there. I'm also moving my lilac uh, rose bush. It's a beautiful purple color. So I'm, it's got a whole bunch of new buds on it too. So I'm just moving that there over there into the corner. And now I'm bringing in some more mums. So this big one here I purchased from uh, Walmart as well. This was only $20, you guys, and it's full of buds. I cannot wait for this thing to bloom. I also got this smaller pink one here from Walmart. And then this little one here was also from Walmart that I am just putting in one of those other pots there. And I love these colors together. I went with more pinks back here just because I could see it from inside the house and I just wanted to change up the colors a little bit. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without some pumpkin pumpkins for this space. We're going with the heirloom pumpkins. These are a little bit more pricey. These were $8.99 each at my local grocery store. However, I think they're totally worth it. And there's lots of great ways that you can make these last a little bit longer. 
I gave them a really good clean and sprayed them down with a little bit of clear sealant and hopefully they last, <laughs> you know, for a few weeks. Next up, I employed Danny to help me get the cushions back into their uh, covers. Oh my gosh, this chore took forever. That's why it's super sped up. Oh my goodness, this probably took like a half an hour. <laughs> took forever and but we found a really good rhythm Danny found that if we folded them then we could get them all the way down to the bottom but then I would just have to like spread them out it was it was an ordeal but they're all in there and they're fresh and clean and they smell fantastic I just washed them with a little bit of oxyclean and tied and then I use gain um uh, fabric softener and then I put them out in the sun on my front porch to dry and they just smell fantastic I wasn't able to wash the pillows uh, along the back because those don't come off so I'd have to wash the entire pillow and I I just want to do a little more research before I do that because I don't want to ruin anything but these washed up really really simply and came clean very very quickly so we're gonna get these put back on and then we're gonna get them back on to the sectional This sectional here is from Walmart. It's from the Better Homes and Gardens line, and we purchased this back at the beginning of the summer. I actually think it was the end of the spring. We had a different set at first. We had something with a little sofa, a little love seat, a table, and two rocking chairs. It was a beautiful wood set, but man, it was uncomfortable, and it was not very functional, and we really enjoy sitting out here. The kids come out here to do their homework or color or play games and I come sit out here to edit it's absolutely just a wonderful space to enjoy so we wanted something different I love that this one has the table and uh, it, it's absolutely perfect we love this sofa so much we use it all of the time and I'm gonna be really sad when it's covered in snow <laughs> I did just purchase a sectional cover from Amazon so I'll let you know how that works out and if it does a good job I will make sure to let you know All the cushions are back on I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the table here I'm using a wet microfiber cloth as well as some grapefruit method uh, all-purpose spray that stuff is my all-time favorite ex besides the snow f a snowflake is that what it was called snowdrop oh my goodness it's <laughs> it's really early when I'm doing this voiceover but uh, the grapefruit method cleaner is my second favorite besides snowdrop by uh, Mrs. Myers and I've just such a fresh scent and it was perfect out here now we're gonna go ahead and add uh, a blanket this is the blanket that was on my front porch I gave it a good wash it smells fantastic and brought it out here to the back and then we're also gonna add in some pillows now these pillows I found at Walmart in their fall section I thought they were adorable the pumpkin is my favorite and I'm just taking off the tags um, so that they're not bothering anybody when they're sitting out here and they're pretty small that's my only the only thing I will say but them being small allows for them to be affordable they each were less than seven dollars so it's hard to complain about something when it's that affordable however 
they are really small. So once I had them, you know, on the space, uh, in the on the sectional, it, it was pretty obvious how tiny they were. So they're definitely meant to be decorative accents. <laughs> Next up, I have this tabletop torch. Now, this is something I was eyeing all summer long, and it was on clearance for $8.86, so I had to snag it, as well as these adorable outdoor pillows, the white ones I've had. However, those plaid ones there are also from Walmart, and those were $5.97. Again, we're going to add some mums to the other side of the sofa here. This is uh, another space you can see from inside the house. So I grabbed one of those bigger mums, as well as these mums called Scents of the Season. They have these little scent sticks inside of them. This one was apple cider and pumpkin, I believe, and it smells fantastic. It brings a beautiful smell out to the deck. I also grabbed these little pumpkins from Walmart, and I thought we would just kind of tuck these into the flower boxes. I did actually go back and get some more. So what you're seeing here is not all of it. I did grab a couple more and off camera I added them. I think you'll see them in the final shot. I switched out the white pumpkin for another uh, green, uh, orange pumpkin. So I, I didn't think that the white pumpkin could be seen enough, but the orange ones were perfect. And this just reminded me so much of Disneyland in the fall. They always have all the pumpkins in their flower arrangements and they're so very pretty. I love them. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this video. Here is the deck all decked out for fall. I love the way it feels. It feels clean and fresh. And with that scent of the season, Mom, it smells absolutely wonderful. We are hosting a big party for my in-laws this weekend, and I cannot wait to have my family and friends join us outside on this deck as we enjoy the cool weather and our time together. I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos drop. I post new videos every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, my friends, until the next video, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Take care, my friends. If you try